hey guys welcome back to another new video so today we have a device from sony this one is called sony xperia ion and today we're going to find out is this device is it still usable or not so let's get started so as you can see that device is booted up and frankly said this one is does look very beautiful although this device is from 2012 almost 11 years or 12 years old and it still works perfectly fine actually so i have been using this device for few days now actually but i got this device long ago i was not using and recently i took it out just for my Sony watch review and i used this device to connect that one so i thought let's make a video about this device too so this device still looks beautiful so the display here is actually 4.5 inch and it is a 720p display ips display but the display still looks very sharp over 300 ppi and it still looks very good actually the build quality is also very good on this device actually um plastic and metal so in on behind you will get metal from 2012 you can't remove battery on this device actually um very rare for 2012 device to get like this only iphone and few maybe samsung devices to get and sony also was doing similar things and also sony used to make some waterproof device back then so because of that the battery was not removable so this device is not really waterproof but still the battery is not removable so few things about this device actually it got one gig of ram although it was like from 2012 you got one gig of ram and 16 gig of internal storage dual core processor and the camera here is actually 12 megapixel autofocus camera and it's a very good camera actually and it still works perfectly fine we also got like 3.5 mm headphone jack and on the left hand side as you can see we have two ports actually one for charging the device which is micro usb 2.0 and another one is maybe mini hdmi port and i didn't try that actually so other things like in the right hand side we do have power button volume rockers and we have two stage shutter button here uh, the camera is pretty interesting on this device rather than that other things are pretty boring right now so going with this device uh, the core of this device actually it's running on right now is on android 4.1.2 android 4.1.2 is pretty much unusable right now because you can't really do much with android 4.1.2 but it, there are still some thing you can do with this device actually so first of all one disappointing part of this device actually right now is that there were two variant of this device one of them has lte support but another one only can connect with 2g and 3g so unfortunately the device i have here is actually 2g and 3g variant so it can't connect to the 4g so kind of sucks because uh, although it the 2G and 3G working perfectly fine in Asian countries but in some of the European countries and America you can't really use SIM card right now on this device because 3G network is already shutted down there. So but uh, the device is still usable as you can see it's pretty smooth and works perfectly fine and as, as you can see I can connect to Wi-Fi and if I go to Play Store and now the disappointing part as i said of android 4.1.2 is still like it's not really usable much but still you are getting few application here like you can still install spotify Lite, tiktok if you like telegram is still usable and instagram Lite you can still install but uh, maybe the facebook main facebook app you cannot install if i try to install facebook as you can see it will show you the only facebook Lite, and you can install youtube music is still available but no youtube actually youtube you cannot install and gmail you can install and all google maps is still working here but mainly actually the games i used to play on this kind of device back then are not available anymore as you can see if i search temple run it's not available although you can install temple run right now but you have to install it directly from browser so you have to search in the browser temple run epic and have to download the older version of it then it will work perfectly fine for but if you really want to download it from play store you can't do that right now but most of the application are available uh, like messenger and other things uh, maybe whatsapp will not work here right now so as you can see here we do have facebook Lite, but messenger is not available and the main app of facebook is not available 
but as i said you can by browser you can download it the apk file and install it but then that there is nothing much to say about the app selection right now one thing about this device is that it is still holds up pretty well the battery is still holding up pretty well although it's a 12 years old phone but it still works perfectly fine basically you can use this device for listening music or if you really want to take pictures with this device you can still take so the camera is still working is working perfectly fine and i did take some pictures and weird thing about this device is that if you touch here the focus doesn't work but you have to press the button so if you short press it will like focus so as you can see it focus then you press it a little hard and then it will take the picture and the front camera is 1.2 megapixel it's very basic camera but uh, with the back camera you can still shoot 1080p videos it works perfectly fine the video quality is not really that great but uh, you can't really complain for a 12 years device it's much better than the device even come out like in 2015 or 2016 it is pretty much still usable i uh, hear actually in my where i'm staying right now it does connect to the network i can make phone call and i can listen to the music but i don't really like the speaker quality here let me give you a trial of the speaker the speaker is pretty bad as you can see i don't really know that the speaker like it is like that or over the time that the speaker like gone bad the speaker is pretty bad and it's here and if you like hold it like this uh, nothing will come out actually that's a pretty weird place to put a speaker actually because you are always holding your device like this and you will always cover the speaker grill so that's pretty bad actually so one good thing about this device is that it's pretty good it is not really a lightweight phone it's pretty heavy uh, compared to other devices of that time because of the metal maybe a pretty good device looks very good actually and it still holds up pretty well the display is pretty nice and other than that there is nothing much to talk about this device everything is kind of working right now like phone calls and other things and you can listen to the music 16 gig of storage is available so you can use this device as a music player rather than that as a secondary device if you are in asian country because you can still use this device as a secondary device so that's all about sony xperia ion it's still usable but not really worth buying right now so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one